Greetings, and welcome to Running TV. I'm Running J, and this is the second installment of the new and improved Running TV. I know y'all see what I got on. It's called Imprint X, my Imprint jersey. I got my name on the back and shit too. Just give me a second, I'm gonna take this shit off and show you. But this jersey is pretty much based off the WWE uh, DX jerseys and shit, cause the black and the neon green and the white. Tell I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a real avid WWE fan, man. For real. Ain't no excuse. If you got LeVar Ball, you know, the Ball family's rocking the big baller brand and all these other people wearing their own stuff, y'all should start wearing your own stuff too, don't you think? Because they see you rocking your own stuff, everybody's gonna start wearing your stuff too. Ain't that crazy? Imprintlabel.com has some merchandise on there. We got some stickers, we got hoodies, we got slides, we got t-shirts always. And also, LUTs for your creatives out there that shoot videos or just wanna create content. that wanna put that extra touch to your videos to give it that little cinematic look. I got a LUT on here right now that I made for uh, my camera and everything that I'm using. But yes, imprintlabel.com, go to shop, and then there you go. In this episode in particular, I just wanna talk about balance because a lot of creatives don't really understand when the term balance gets thrown around here in these spaces, they don't really, really know what it really, really truly means to be balanced. Because don't get me wrong, for me being a creative, it was hard as hell for me to keep the work-life balance. Because people still gotta live their life at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have no social life. I still don't have a social life. You know what I'm saying? The only people I talk to is, what is like other you know, creatives and stuff, whether if you're an artist, whether you're for other Prello producer, whether if you're, you know, anybody, a photo, a videographer, and everything, but it's just that you do have to live. And whatever you may deal with in life, it would inspire you to create, whether a song or any form of art that you choose. And for me, dealing with life and experiences that I had, I'm like, holy shit, like, I could go out one day, see something, go out to a nice venue, go out to a nice beach, go out somewhere, and really, really get inspired to create a work of art. And from this episode, you're really gonna see how I got inspired to create a lot of different things. So, stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. See this spot, man. My knees still work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. People be like relaxed. Go <laughs> hold a ball like this. You know what I'm saying? You can smile if you want to, but you can be serious. Nope. Alright. We're gonna go to this damn concert. We already got the snacks, they already munching. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go hard. We don't took this damn white man park spot. We're gonna go crazy. Yes, sir. Alright. Open this shit the Let's fuck up! We all got the fucking boardwalk and shit at the uh, Florida and shit. I forgot what part we at, but we walking a damn bridge. And you can see this the fucking uh, water right there. We got the moon right there. Y'all niggas, y'all gotta live, bro. Like, straight up, like, just go out and travel. Y'all young, you know what I'm saying? Y'all grinding. People wanna put you in a box until you can't go nowhere. You have to visit places. That's why the main thing.
thing about never stop running is all about. All you gotta do is just get up and just run. You know what I'm saying? You don't even gotta go freaking anywhere. Just go somewhere. Cause somewhere is a location. You know what I'm saying? That's all you gotta do. And just go. Just get up and go. You know what I'm saying? You just can't stand still in one place. Like I started off with one idea and I turned my one idea and look where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Traveling. Just off of my business and my videography and everything and stuff like that, you know? So it's just like if you got an idea, you know what I'm saying? Just surround yourself with other people that got the same idea as you and just take it up from there. Like life is so simple. You know, people always trying to complicate shit and make shit be whatever it is, but you know. Yeah, that's that's what all you gotta do. Like, there's some real shit going on. Man, for you got me, got you working. I hope it's worth it. You tell me you're with on my purpose. You're doing whatever the hurt is. Ooh, it ain't nobody getting like you. They run now. Ooh, I need everything cool in the poop like that. Yeah. Better go around like a surgeon. And when I play a new version, she wanna pop a new version. How the fuck you know? Miami with it, laying on some trash, working on the fucking the mission album and shit, you know what I'm saying? Brandon, I ain't finna tell y'all niggas much, but watch out. Stay tuned to this shit, boy. You feel me? Phone up. Put the crazy ass day to wear some damn jeans and probably like 99 degree weather and shit, but it's like, yeah, we out here, fucking South Beach, Florida. And shit, you know what I'm saying? Tomorrow we finna go go karting and shit, get some nice food and shit to eat. Probably get a tattoo and shit later on and stuff like that too. But um, yeah, like, it's like trap. You just can't put sh this running into a box. It's like, the one crazy thing about life, you gotta like move like water, cause water is always flowing, it's always going. If you put water standing still, it's gonna be still in, uh, in one box or whatever. So it's like, if you have something still, if you have still water, in the same spot for a long time is gonna die. You know what I'm saying? So you have to move like water. Money has to flow like water. Or it's kinda like the same thing with women too. It's like, you don't gotta force shit with them. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it. I ain't suggesting no nigga to do that shit. But it's like, flow like water and you see what happens in your life. You know what I'm saying? You be the flow. I ain't saying say like, don't do nothing but have an idea what the fuck you want to just go hard at that shit because not so many niggas know what the fuck they trying to do. 34 inch front. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Mine's idea is a 26. Mm -hmm. This is fire. Oh, wow. Uh, so super, you know, super uh, car blindy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my thing is seeing people enjoy what I do and stuff too because I'm enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? Anytime when I'm making my art, I put myself in the eyes of the audience. I put myself in the eyes of the consumer to really, really get an idea of what they will feel for if their first time either watching what I make or listening to what I make and stuff too. What would they do? You know what I'm saying? And when you do that, it gives you a different perspective of like, oh shit, it's like this. Oh, it's like this. Because a lot of times when you make something, you really make something for you. But at the same time, it's like you making a, something for the collective. That's just how I see it. Yeah. Y'all not ready for Element. Autograph too, man. Yeah, man. Nigga doing this damn it's a go kart season today. You know what I'm saying? Meeting one of my homies out here. There she go. Shit. Hi. What's going on? How are you? Y'all running TV? What's up? Woo! My first time. So, anything you want you, uh, to, you know, not bring with you, put in the bins. Or, I mean, there's walkers out there. They don't bring them. We about to go race, y'all. Who you think gonna win, me or her? Me, definitely. Really? Yeah. The Tokyo Drill. Oh my God. Just finna put it to the test. What's what's the stipulation? Huh? Mm. <laughs> if I win, you get sushi. So what if I don't eat sushi? Let's try it. It's, okay. it's a new it's a new uh, day. You gotta try some niggas gotta live. All right. 
big old race. Here's what happened. So long story short, you already know how this damn story goes and shit with me. I'm over here driving. And this person left a phone on the track. I didn't leave it, it fell. She thought. I'm the victim. <laughs> I'm the victim. My whole phone could have just broke. He actually ran it over with his car. Yeah, <laughs> but I ended up having to stop so I could try to pick up a phone. And uh, I let it get a head start. She beat me. I'm still a better driver though. Trying sushi for the first time. Let's dig in. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna find out. She got her little thing right there. Like but Bessie said I, I gotta I gotta make a move to fucking Florida. Like Tampa. Tampa. Not just any Florida, she said yeah, Tampa. Tampa. Yeah man. As you can see again, I suck game, you know, I got all these cars on me. I got beat by like three girls. gotta know how to how to have a balance don't be conforming to societal norms of work 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 and then you only got like two three hours to sleep and then you back to work 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 or work again having that balance could really really make a difference and really keep your sanity and stuff too so if you learned something from this video if you felt inspired leave a comment you know like follow me on my platforms let's chop it up um, my dms is always open you know you can follow my Discord channel when I make one. Um, yeah, connect with me on different social accounts. I'm always willing to reach out and have a conversation, whether if you're four years old, 14 years old, or even 40 years old. There's always something to talk about. You can always learn something from anybody. And with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next video. Never stop running.